Hi, my name is Jessica Visconti. I'm a licensed mental health counselor and expressive arts therapist, and I'd like to welcome you or welcome you back to the Bristol Co Community College Creative Grounding Series. This is the first video for our fall semester series. It's intended for incoming students. However, it is definitely helpful for anyone that's looking to start the semester off with an intention or a purpose to kind of guide you um, when times get possibly challenging um, and keep you on track with all the reasons why you are going to be in school or in class. So we are going to be continuing to follow the same format. So it'll start with a brief visualization or mindfulness exercise and I'll explain the next uh, creative piece, which is some form of writing or art making and or movement. You're always welcome to do whatever you kind of like in that part. Um, and then at the end, there will be some questions for you to consider or if you're ever able to attend the Zooms live, that's the time that um, if you're comfortable, you can check in with other students and talk about what the experience was like for you. So before we get started, um, just move to wherever you'd like to do the meditation piece. That could be a chair or the ground or your bed, whatever is going to be a place that you can be comfortable and focused for the next five minutes or so. Um, and then we can get ready to start. The meditation that we're going to be using today is an intention setting meditation written by Tris Thorpe and I found it on Chopra.com and I can include the link to that if you'd like. So just start by settling in, finding a comfortable upright position, or if you're um, laying down a position that you feel supported. And begin by starting to breathe in slowly and deeply through your nose. Trying to make your inhales and exhales equal if you have the ability to do that. And you can either close your eyes or another option is always to have a soft gaze down. So just not staring at any one thing in particular. And just starting to bring yourself into a place where you feel more settled and calm. place that you feel centered, relaxed, and when you get to that, that space, try to bring into your awareness the area of your life that you would like to change or transform. Imagine your highest vision for this era of your life as if it's already happened and you're presently living this way. How do you look? How do you feel? What are you doing? Who's there with you? What's happening around you? And what are the daily practices to keep you anchored in this ideal vision? taking as much time as you need to reflect on these questions. Trying to make this vision as compelling and as real for you as possible. And when you have spent some time breathing into the beingness of your living vision, next asking, the universe, your intuition, or something else, if that feels more appropriate for you, to show you a goal or a few goals that you will need to achieve in order to fully step into this vision of your life. Thinking of your goals as milestones along your path, 
What do you need to produce or gain in order to actualize this goal? Making a mental note of anything that's coming to mind. Now knowing that this goal must be attained for you to move closer to living in your vision, it's time to identify action steps to be taken either each day or each week. Perhaps there is a practice or some other support structures that you might need to put in place to assist you in getting to where you're going. Asking yourself, why do I need this week to move me powerfully forward in my life towards my goal? What do I need this week to move me towards my goal? Is there a daily practice you can be doing, like meditation, exercise, eating differently, conscious communication, writing, or something else to anchor you in your vision? Are there support structures that you can use or put in place to help fortify your resolve and maintain your focus? With your action steps, support structures, and practices now in your awareness, it's time to energize them, to set them in motion on your journey towards what you desire. Visualize yourself inside a picture or a movie in your mind where you are seeing yourself take action. You are feeling inspired and empowered because of the momentum you've gained and the progress you're making. As you look around, notice how your life has changed as a result of achieving your goal. As it all comes together, you realize you're now living your highest vision for this area of your life. Now, step out of the picture or movie in your mind and imagine that you're holding it in your hands. You no longer see yourself inside the picture of the movie, but you're looking on it. Taking a deep breath through your nose and out through your mouth, sending it straight into the image of you living in your highest vision. Doing this a few times to energize your intention Now, imagining that you're floating above where you are now, taking the picture of your vision with you, floating into your future and letting it go, watching your picture float down into your future based timeline on or before the date you would like to actualize it. It's important to trust that it will land exactly where it's meant to. Notice how all the events between then and now reevaluate themselves to support you in bringing about your goals and your vision. Coming back, spending a few moments following your breath in and out, settling into your body. back into this moment in time. And when you feel ready, slowly open your eyes if you close them and sit quietly for a few minutes reviewing your vision, goals, and any action steps or practices you need to take or cultivate. Now, using your materials, you can do some writing, journaling, painting, collage, whatever feels the most connected to you right now to start to express or create what was the area of your life that you focused on, any details you want to include, any notes about the goals or milestones from your vision. 
prioritizing your goals, action steps, support structures, and practices that will help you get there. And anything else that came up that feels significant that you want to use as a guide this semester. This was what I created um, for my goal. Um, and it included some words that I put, um, some keywords being I am balanced and I am whole. Um, and I use the different colors in the background to represent um, different supports that I have and uh, the tree and its roots is an image that I like to come back to when I'm thinking about my own supports and places of growth. Um, and there's never any wrong way to use the creative arts in these groups. So whatever um, image came to you or words or movements is all um, your experience and that's all great. So we will be doing similar groups to this um, every few weeks and I invite you to join if you can on Zoom and if not we will be putting videos on the YouTube page so you can use the materials from your box to do these on your own. Um, thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to doing more of the creative grounding series with Bristol. Thanks.